Now let's try another sample problem, sample problem three. All right, this requires you um, having reviewed 4.9 Lewis structures of covalent bonds to understand how to draw everything. All right, so let's just go through these sample problems. Um, for N2, you just draw the atoms of N next to each other with their valence electrons. So N has one, two, three, four, five valence electrons, one, two, three, four, five valence electrons, all right? And there are three unimpaired electrons on each N atom at east, south, and west. So we pair them up to get six paired electrons or three pairs of electrons, all right? Uh, which means three lines or a triple bond. All right, so we pair them up at um, west here with east here, south here with south here, east here with west here. So we get um, six paired electrons, one, two, three, four, five, six, or three pairs of electrons, one, two, three, red, blue, green, shows you the three pairs of electrons. All right, so since there are three pairs of electrons or six shared electrons, um, that means you replace them with three clean lines or a triple bond. All right, for O2, there are two unpaired electrons on each O atom. For this one, it's uh, at uh, south and west, and here it's also at south and west. All right, so um, we pair them up to get four paired electrons, one, two, three, four, or, in other words, two pairs of electrons. One, two, red and blue. All right, so since we have two pairs of electrons, that means we have two clean lines that replace the red and the blue, also known as a double bond. All right, remember the number of lines shows you the number of bonds or the number of pairs of electrons. For C2H2, um, um, We have uh, four unpaired electrons on each C at north, east, south, and west, north, east, south, and west, and one unpaired electron on each H at north and north here. All right, so what you have to do is you have to pair up the single electron at west on this C with the single electron at north on this H on the left. Then you have to pair up the single electron at east on um, this C with the single electron at north on this H at the right. All right, so we've got one and two um, pairs so far. All right, and then after we do that, we still have three unpaired single electrons left on each H at northeast and um, south here and northwest and south here. All right, so we have to pair them up with each other to get six paired electrons, one, two, three, four, five, six, or three pairs of electrons, which are shown by red, blue, and uh, purple. All right? So we pair them up with each other to get six paired electrons, one, two, three, four, five, six, or three pairs of electrons, purple, blue, red, which means that we have three lines or a triple bond between the two Cs and one bond between each C and H, right here and right here. All right? Now for C2H4, we have four unpaired electrons in each C at northeast, south, and west, and northeast, south, and west, and one unpaired electron on each H at north here and north here. So we have to pair up the single electron at west on this C with the single electron at north on this H, and at south on the same C with the single electron at north on this H down here. All right, and you have to do the same for the single electrons in the second C at east and south. So you um, bond the single electron here east on this C with the single electron here on H at north and the single electron here at south on this C with the single electron at north on this H. All right? Um, so each, so every, you know, all these single electrons at west and south here bond with H's and these single electrons here east and south bond with these H's. All right, um, but after you do that, you realize that there are two unpaired electrons each on each C left over, so you have to pair them up with each other to get four, un four paired electrons between the C. So you have one, two, three, four paired electrons, or in other words, you have two pairs of electrons slash two bonds. All right, so you replace these two lines with two clean bonds, and that means a double bond between the Cs, all right? And you also have single bonds between the C and this H, the C and this H, the C and this H, and the C and this H. All right? Um, so there you go. Uh, for CO2, you have to bond these single electrons at um, south and west on C with the west and south for the O on the left. 
Then you have to bond single electrons at um, north and east on the same C with west and south for the O on the right. All right, so if you notice, there are actually double bonds between the C here and the O here, as well as double bonds between the C here and the O here. All right, so we have double bonds between the C and this O, and we have double bonds between the C and this O. All right, so we've got double bonds on both sides. For H2CO, you've got single electrons for C at north, east, south, and west, and you have four valence electrons. You've got single electrons north here and north here for both H's, and you've got single electrons at west and south here for the O's. All right, so you pair up the single electrons at north on C with the west on the O, the single electron at east on C with the south on O, so you get a double bond between the C and the O, and you leave the um, already paired electrons alone. You pair the single electron here at south on C with the single electron here at north on this H, and you pair the single electron here on, on west at C with the, electron, with the single unpaired electron here at north on this H. So you get a single bond between this C and the H, and you get a single bond between C and this H down here. So you got single bond, single bond, and here you got double bonds because you have two connecting lines, and you leave the pa already paired electrons alone. All right, now we have to determine the total number of shared electrons and the number of shared pairs in each molecule. So for the first one, N2, we have three shared pairs because we have three lines. That also means three bonds. And we have six shared electrons because three lines equals two times three or six electrons. Remember, one line equals two electrons, so three lines would equal six shared electrons. All right, for O, we have two shared pairs because we have two lines, or in other words, two bonds. And we have four shared electrons because we have two lines, which equals two times two or four shared electrons. Remember, one line equals two shared electrons, so two lines would equal four shared electrons. All right, for um, C2H2, we have um, five shared pairs because we have five lines, one, two, three, four, five. In other words, we have five total bonds. And we have 10 shared electrons because we have five lines, which equals two times five or 10 shared electrons. All right, that's because one line equals two shared electrons, so we know five equals 10 shared electrons. For number four, we have six lines, so we know we have six shared pairs or six bonds. And we know we have 12 shared electrons because we have um, six lines, which equals two times six or 12 shared electrons. That's because one line equals two shared electrons. And therefore, since we have six lines, we know we have 12 shared electrons, all right? For number five, we have four shared pairs or because we have four lines, which means four bonds in total. And we also have um, eight shared electrons because we have four lines, which equals four times two or eight shared electrons. Remember, one line equals two shared electrons, so four of them would equal eight shared electrons. For six, we have um, four shared pairs because we have four lines total in the structure. And we have... Um, Eight shared electrons because we have four lines, which equals four times two or eight shared electrons. Remember, one line equals two shared electrons, so four lines would equal eight shared electrons. All right? Um, you can do these Lewis structures on your own, but just remember the two elements that form multiple covalent bonds are nitrogen, which form triple bonds, and oxygen, which can form double bonds. But um, let's just go back to this really quickly. N has three shared pairs because it has three lines in the structure or three bonds, and it has six shared electrons because three lines equals... Six, elect six shared electrons. Remember, one line equals uh, two shared electrons, so three lines would equal six shared electrons. For O, we had two shared pairs because we had two lines or two bonds, and we have four shared electrons because we had two lines. Remember, one line equals two uh, shared electrons, so two lines would equal four shared electrons. For uh, C2HCl, we have five shared pairs because we have five lines total in the molecule, and we have um, 10 shared electrons because we have five lines or um, two times five, which equals 10 shared electrons. All right, one line equals two shared electrons, so five would equal 10 shared electrons. For C2H2Cl2, we have six shared pairs because we have six lines total in the molecule, and we have 12 shared electrons because we have six times two, or 12 shared electrons. All right, that's because one line equals two shared electrons, so six of them would equal 12. Um, CS2, we have four shared pairs because we have four lines, and we have eight shared electrons because we have four lines, which equals four times two or eight shared electrons. Remember, one line equals two shared electrons, so four of them would equal eight shared electrons. Finally, please complete these homework questions on your own for Monday, November 24th. Thank you very much.